Namaste, sir. Namaste, everybody. Namaste, everybody. Uh, so we are going to have a great webinar of nearly eight hours. Sir, so saying eight hours, but I am sure it will go to nine or ten hours. So uh, on Navamsa, everything about the Navamsa. So uh, as usual, before any webinar, we do a small uh, video ki what sir is going to take and how we are going to uh, go about it. Sir, today also has example charts uh, about how, how we can decipher Namansa and everything about the Namansa. Sir, a warm welcome to you. Yeah, uh, uh, good morning, everybody. I'll just get my screen. Okay, this is a, a synopsis or a peep through into uh, the class, what we are going to do it. Uh, we'll be discussing about four charts. Those just an introduction. We'll, I'll just tell you how we'll go, go about what is uh, what we are going to learn. So this is what we uh, I've already given this. We all know um, moon is considered the seed, lagna the flower, navamsa is the fruit. This I've taken from a particular quote from a rishi. So navamsa is the 108 divisions of the Kala Purusha. Uh, all of you all know, it is Navamsa is very much linked with the nakshatras, the 27 nakshatras or 28 nakshatras linked with the 108 padas. So uh, again, you must know each pada is a particular purushartha, dharma, artha, kama, moksha. And a lot of secrets are hidden. The meaning of 108 itself is a huge thing. Uh, so uh, the, uh, the, and, uh, the most important thing about Navamsa you want to learn, it is in Jaimini. For, uh, uh, in Gemini's Upadesa uh, Sutra, a whole chapter. It is. It is. You want to learn about Navamsa. You will have to open Gemini's Upadesa Sutra to learn completely about uh, uh, Navamsa. Just a second. Let me see. I'm, okay. Uh, so we'll be discussing the whole thing. In fact, the whole chapter on Jaimini Sutras, we'll be discussing and what are the hints and what uh, uh, Jaimini tells. Uh, in fact, uh, Jaimini will give about how to uh, uh, profession, education, everything is only from Jaimini. It is only in Navamsa. The Rasi chart, he hardly takes it. Everything from Karagamsa to yeah, everything, it is taken from that. So we'll be learning one full thing about it. Uh, then we will, uh, what I say, uh, uh, we'll, there's one important principle called Chandra Kalanadi Rasi Tulya Navamsa, Navamsa Tulya Rasi. Uh, this is a Nadi principle. So how to superimpose the Rasi uh, Divans Lakna uh, in the Navamsa and how to see, uh, uh, see it as a Durvanadi technique also. We'll be uh, seeing this very, very important. Okay, and then you know, Parasar always mentions Navamamse, Kalatrana, everything about uh, what I say, the spouse or the marriage or the relationship is seen. So that, uh, but everybody thinks it is only a marriage is seen in Navamamse. So no, that is one important part is there, but everything else, seen, like uh, Vidya uh, Madhavyam uh, uh, teaches, everything you, you can see from uh, marriage. Uh, no, just not from marriage, but everything you, you can see. And some people think Navamsa. Uh, what is a uh, it works from a particular uh, age or something uh, uh, we will be discussing uh, all all these kind of things okay this is just a uh, thing okay i'll tell you what we are going to see first they're going to be first class is going to be about a lot of very important concepts pushkaramsa how to use pushkaramsa Nidhanamsa, very, very important. What is Nidhanamsa, Ashtamamsa, how it is used? It is, it's a very important Dhruvanadi or Rasitulya Navamsa technique. Dhuridamsa, very, very important technique. 64 Travamsa, 100 Travamsa. Karagamsa, which is a Gemini technique. Uh, uh, Karagamsa, Swamsa. Then, then you have again the Nadi technique of your Yogamsa, Vitamsa, Shubamsa, Dhatuji, Dula Jeeva Navamsa, Vargotama, Bhavotma. How, what are these concepts? How do we use them? We'll be discussing it in detail with example charts. Then we move to Amsha Dev, uh, Devatas. Actually, they are not actually Amsha Devatas, right? uh, uh, but they're given just for, for a simpler sake. I've given them uh, a name as how do you use the Devatas in Navamsa for prediction? We'll be discussing. There's a very important concept. Uh, it opens up the Navamsa. Deva, Nara, and Rakshasa. Uh, how do you use when planets fall in these signs? What is the meaning? We'll be seeing. Uh, 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 it's very, very important. You only after you see the Amsa Devatas, you will have to go into the other aspect of the horoscope. 
then this ishta devada namamsa this is a typical jaimini concept where jaimini uh, and many people are confused is it only the 12th from karagamsa the 5th from karagamsa anything so we'll see it in practical charts and how to choose the ishta devada or the moksha devada or the right devada this is a very big clue from jaimini i will be saying bhava suchaka this is very uh, from vidya madhyam bhava suchaka is a very very important concept yeah. each particular yeah. nadi has a particular concept we will be seeing rasi tule already told you this is from deva kerala then another very important uh, uh, derivation of bhava suchaka and rasi tule is called rasi and navamsa sinistry it is not the marriage sinistry it is rasi and navamsa navamsa sinistry where you can overlap the planets and a combination can happen uh, between rasi uh, a particular conjunction can happen between rasi and navamsa we will be seeing how to use that kind of sinistry uh, in this very 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 important not used uh, concept or not discussed uh, concept jaimini i told you how how we are going to use jaimini navamsa then we come to the navamsa disposter see navamsa is you know there is rasi disposter or sign disposter nakshatra disposter but very very important is something called navamsa disposter how do you use the navamsa disposter uh, this is very very important we will have to learn about the navamsa disposters and then we come to remedial measures i've already told you in jaimini it is all about uh, what is a uh, seeing the navamsa for choosing ishta devata parigara devata or anything this is what we'll be ta uh, taking so anyhow anybody having doubts so far uh, i'll clear if, uh, what i've explained i think i i prefer it as a discussion than simply i just go on read something anybody has any doubts what i've explained or you all can tell me uh, anything else you all want to learn i've already read uh, 80 80 slides i've already read it up i'm just two more weeks i'll be preparing more i just wanted to ask the participants if if you all want a particular style or way uh, you want me to present or add up something else more which you all have doubts on certain aspect of the navam sir i can explain it to you all um, yes ma sir when uh, let's say a planet goes aids from itself yeah um so does it um, show like the planet has lost its strength one asp see it is just it's called ashtamamsa okay mm. but then let's say if a planet go on eighth from itself is its own house exaltation it is in, a, in the fifth house with benefics it will not lose but it's very very important when it goes eighth from itself i think a core of it is gone Okay. Very, let's very say important. a planet is uh, let's say uh, sagittarius it will not function it will not function easily okay. but uh, for sagittarius let's say you have jupiter uh, sitting in uh, sagittarius and exalted in the 8th house in cancer okay mm. then you you don't say it is lost its strength so you will have to know is it uh, by ashtamam say is it uh, mostly it goes to enemy source no planet uh, if uh, where it goes the strength of the planet you will have to judge it's not totally gone so you will okay. have to see the house it's go it goes from the navamsa lagna you will have to see uh, the strength of it also uh, uh, this you will understand when when i discuss some very important uh, example charts you will may, may it'll, you will understand better because a very very important question but sometimes mm -hmm. i've seen the horoscope totally getting destroyed but sometimes if it is well lost let's say it is in the uh, in a kendra from the uh, from the chandra lagna karagam salakna but it's only eighth from its lower rasi chart uh, mm -hmm. so it will not lose its strength but again if it loses itself very badly <clears throat> let's say it is falls in the 6th house or 8th house or 12th house in navamsa and is also in ashtamamsa mm -hmm. what i say then it is totally destroyed have, uh, uh, you will have you should have to uh, understand it like that because sometimes sir we see on the surface level and we see no, the planet I, I, is let's I, say in a kendra well placed no, but it, uh, it is not destroyed totally but it is a very very important uh, aspect to to be seen because how, how worse it becomes you will have to see it's very very important there are three factors before you understand uh, ashtamams i will tell you it in the class three okay. aspects where, where what is the bhava it holds where it is and how it goes uh, and what strength it is uh, will it will be the meaning of what is uh, it now answer sir we'll be touching on the strength of the planet as well right yeah uh, yeah i told you know grahanam uh, amshi kambalam that's uh, that's okay. the thing and, uh, according to it is not shatbala or uh, what is say all the other balas the bala in navamsa is the way to a simple way to judge the strength of the planet it's not the other vargas yes other vargas you can say each varga planet will be exalted but if you look at the rishis the more the strength in navamsa matters most most yes sir 
a planet uh, may be exalted in Dasamsa uh, or any other Vargas, but actual strength of how the planet is in Navamsa, it might be Nietzsche and uh, Dasamsa or Saptamsa, but how what is the strength in Navamsa will be the clue or the crux or the core of what is the strength of the planet. It's very, very important. You, you don't take any other balas. This Navamsa bala is very, very important. A planet uh, in Digbala uh, or Kendra bala. Uh, or what is a uh, uh, pushkaram so you have a, 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 a list will be coming that's very important the strength of a planet i'll show you an example we'll be seeing four horoscopes you see i will just show you how the horoscope can change without navamsa you can't make a prediction you what i say now the rasi chart is only 30 percent and if you do not take the navamsa chart you will uh, totally uh, the whole picture uh, itself will be totally different so I, I'll show you how important it is. See, again, there are other Vargas, but it is Rasi, it is Navamsa, only then the other Vargas you will have to take. Without, uh, uh, you cannot uh, jump from Rasi to any other Vargas. It is very, very important. You, uh, what is it? You, uh, there is a, a synchronicity or you will have to uh, compare both these Vargas and then move to the other Varga chat. In fact, there is a very interesting thing uh, when you see Navamsa and Dasamsa. Uh, uh, everything can be seen in Navamsa. But in Dasamsa, so, uh, so something something regarding career profession or your actions will, will glean uh, very, very strongly. So, but you must see the, an interaction between these two. Yeah, somebody makes some noise. Yeah. Okay, the, and the next slide. So, this is the sir, first day class. Sir, sir. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sure, but, uh, yeah. certain uh, terminologies in this, hmm. we know the names, but exactly how it appears in the chart that you will tell us. Uh, no, no, I will. I, I'm just giving you the, the course material. So, I'll explain it in detail and the examples of how to use it. Okay, okay. This is the Thank first because first these are the very important. If you want to learn Navamsa, it's very very important to understand uh, the concepts uh, used yeah. as far as Navamsa is concerned. So these are the most uh, important concepts you have to know. Then how how all do you use Navamsa? How all Navamsa is used? So this is starting. Uh, these uh, concepts are very very important. Word terminologies are very things, important. This is Vitamsha and all. Yeah, this Duri Tamsa is a very, very important technique, Navamsa technique. I, I will be so, explaining with a lot uh -huh. of example charts. How, how so you will explain it. all this? Yeah, yeah, I everything will be there. Yes. Okay, yes. thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And then the second class, I, uh, I've already finished. Eight, uh, so you, uh, after the concepts and introduction, we'll be going to marriage and Navamsa. Most important thing, in, in, in you know, it is marriage. How uh, the, uh, what do you say, the Navamsa picture can change uh, in the in uh, marriage can change in Navamsa. Then progeny, health, prosperity, or the financial aspect. Hi, Nile. How are you? Okay. Uh, yeah. The yogas. I, this is a very, very interesting chapter. Yogas. Because the yogas completely... You cannot see yogas. You want to see a celebrity horoscope. You want to see a person having 100 crores, a cinista, a politician, successful, without seeing Navamsa. Because Navamsa, you know, it is Bhakyasthana. Okay, it is a ninth division. So everything without seeing Navamsa, no yoga can, can be seen. Maybe basic yogas can be seen in the uh, day one chart. But you want to see uh, the height of yogas, Navamsa must be seen. So there are, it's not the 300 important yogas, uh, not those your Purushartha yogas, but there are some certain special yogas, certain special combination which works in Navamsa. So you must know. It is a Jaimini Kam Parasari mix. So I'm giving you my experience. There are some certain yogas on particular combination which works wonders. You can be sure this combination is there. This will work. It's not, you will see people with Gajaka Sri, not famous, Guru Mangala, Chandra Mangala, or a planet exaltation. You will, have, I, you will see two, three people with, uh, with exaltation and the person is a very normal person. I've seen horoscope with four exaltation. And uh, what is it? I say, my, my maid has four exaltations in a horoscope. I've seen an auto guy with three uh, three Sakshatras and two exaltation. <laughs> it, that is in the Rasi chat, not in the Navamsa chat. You, uh, you, you, when you see this horoscope, you think what is say uh, exaltation will work. But you must see the position in the Navamsa chat. It will change the whole picture. So the yoga aspect is very, very important. Which yoga works, activates, 
is very important and then i have a uh, profession and namamsa is very very important that's a uh, hint where how you use it in the samsa and how you uh, it is slightly different in namamsa when i identify profession so uh, a bit of detail at least we'll be on doing quite a detailed thing on profession namamsa ending we'll finish it with transit and namamsa how to use transit and the namamsa for transit Mohurta and transit. Mohurta, it is just not using the Rasi chart. You will have, it's very, very important linked with the Navamsa chart. What I say, it's complete only when you take Mohurta and Navamsa. Then okay. Prasna and Navamsa. I can't detail about Prasna, but I'll tell you some very important uh, techniques where you can just use a simple snapshot Prasna by using the uh, uh, Navamsa. This is the second day course. I've already finished 80 slides. This, I think it will be uh, more than five hours or more. I don't know how long it will take. The second session will be quite long, depending on the discussion. So, any doubts? I will go into some four charts for discussing. So, I'll uh, how we will be using it will be. There. Any doubts? So far, or you have any suggestions of what you want me to add or uh, elucidate more into the class? I, I, will, I will say. Sir, uh, Nilay here. Yes, Nilay. Hi. Sir, Rashi Tulya Namash, Namash Tulya Rashi is something which you explain uh, in a better way, best way. Yeah. yeah. So that, please ensure, sir, that, you know. No, no, we we'll be doing that grand. delay. We are, in fact, I have 75 charts and all the 75 charts will be discussing that aspect okay. very, very clearly. How to use That it, is we'll one say. point where I'm very weak, sir. And I have seen most of my counter uh, friends oh. are also, you know, fight, uh, struggling hard to apply it. No, yeah, yeah, we'll be discussing that. Uh, very, very important. That's one of the most important aspects. If you miss that, you will not uh, uh, understand Navamsa. Right. Thank you. The Rasi Tulya Navamsa or the Navamsa Sinistri or Bhava Suchaka, these three you'll have to interlink to understand. Yeah. Providing okay, any shall. notes or will I have to take running notes during? No, the... no, it'll be a PPT, just like what you, you're seeing. No, everything what I speak, it'll be as a PPT. Okay. It will be as so, a PVT. Uh, so, detailed explanations will be side by side. It will be given. Uh, I will start with the introduction of a particular what it is. The notes will be there for it. And then what I say, uh, each uh, uh, what I say, mostly it, it will be an introduction with chart discussion. So, the principles will come. Yes, uh, so, I that will be written. That. All all of them will be written. So, uh, we will, you will be sharing it. the it PPT also? PPT with the recording. Okay, okay. So, I, I mean, just, you know, for later, if I want to refer to it. So no, that no, it will be well. recording. Our PPT will also be given and the recording will also be available. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I must say here that sir's PPT is one of the most exhaustive, heavily exhaustive. We will get tired, but, uh, you know, the content will be totally 100%. That's always the case with every course of uh, William, sir. That's really nice to hear. This is the first time I'm attending your webinar, sir. So oh, I'm okay. not aware, but I'm very yeah. bad at writing notes while attending. No, no, you need you, you not write so. anything. So everything will be written. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Okay. We'll move to okay this particular chart. Uh, I picked up this Bar President Barack Obama's chart. So you look at the Rasi chart. Does the Rasi chart look like this can be the president of? the most powerful office in the world. Uh, can anybody tell me, is there any combination in the Rasi chat to tell? I, I just picked up this chat particularly. Sir, just Saturn retrograde. Um, yeah. Tenth yeah, okay. and the Lagna. Uh, the only thing which I can see in the Rasi chat is, okay, Lagna Lord and Zonos, Moon Exalted. So any other, uh, you can see, this makes him the president of the U.S.? Um, sir, ninth Lord aspecting Lagna is that. Okay, then. Okay, just now, just now move to the Navamsa and see the picture. And just analyze from the Navamsa and see the horoscope. Uh, he's got a Bhargotam Lagna Lord. Okay, and then see the fifth house. Fifth house of power. Okay, what? who all are sitting down there? Lagna it's Lord, creating a, Ninth yeah. Lord, Lord, Tenth oh, Lord, tenth. all are combined together. And you know, one of the most most powerful things, I'm just telling it, when the AK and AMK conjoins in Navamsa in certain houses, it, this will create one of the, the biggest yogas. He has it. The AK, AMK with the Tenth Lord in the fifth house of power. He has it. 
okay he has already you can see mercury exalt in the sense saturn uh, work with lagna lord is uh, in its uh, work with ma and in its vakshetra it is there you see the chart now and you see the particular this if you do not see the navamsa the rashi chart uh, what is it will never indicate even even ordinary it, it does not even look like an ordinary person he will be a ceo of a company look at the navamsa chart and just see the whole picture everything changes okay i've got lot more you can see from karagam salagna i'll i'll teach you so some i'm just giving you a glimpse into one of one of the uh, very important yo yogas how to apply ak amk jaimni karakas uh, when you use it correctly what activates uh, you will know it will open up uh, very big this you will see this in all celebrity chart without fail you will see this yoga in all celebrity chants 90% you will see it. it might be slightly in a different version but you will see it conjoined or connected to certain bhavas and certain houses okay i'll show you a similar horoscope okay see see queen elizabeth's horoscope you see how the rashi chart the similar combination is there in queen victoria's horoscope we'll see in the main class i'll show you similar horoscope you just look at the horoscope see the rashi chart okay the uh, uh, again it does not show some exemplar she is a queen uh, and she ruled uh, rule for a very long time no uh, uh, what is it you, you without saying i'm saying without saying the navam sir if you only try to judge a horoscope from the rashi chart it can be extremely very misleading yes for a normal person who runs a life i think rashi chart is enough if you are an average life person you want to know okay but you want to know something spectacular or it can be the opposite also i'll show you the next two charts where it, how it can be extremely very misleading we just judging from the rashi chart see our chart i mean the moment you see it's our gotama lagna uh, you have saturn in dikbala again the same combination the atma karaga amitya karaga in the ninth house it is sitting okay so one small question yeah sir what will be the difference between having the same yoga in d1 uh, or and having the same yoga in namancha like you said say uh, okay yes i'll tell you same d1 it is the physical physicality d1 is the physicality what is your or you call tell the stula sharira the stula sharira so the overt picture or the general outward picture or what you see is the rashi chart namamsa is like the sukshma sharira the internal organs you can say so it must be there internally the internal parts must be strong out uh, just outward alone it will not be enough it has to be internal it has to be supported like like you call the roots or the pillar or the, the roots of a tree no the outward part of the tree what you see is the rashi chart but the tree what is the support from which so it's very important grah uh, the strength of the planet is only from norms not from the rashi chart maybe you can see the external picture but how much is it supported the support you have to see from the navamsa chart very very important so that link between rashi and navamsa in fact you want to understand any other varga you have to understand the link between rashi and navamsa only then move to any other varga there will be a link when navamsa and saptamsa navamsa and uh, in fact it is not rashi and, and uh, there is a link between navamsa and the samsa also that's a very important link will see the moment you see see venus mercury venus is the 10th lord mercury is the 9th lord that's the dharma karma yoga in a kendra see how many planets are in kendra venus saturn mercury in kendra it is a vargotma lagna lagna is strong all the three kendras uh, four kendras are strong how is the 9th lord uh, so it is 1 4 7 10 strong 5 and 9 also are strong and if you take sun sun in the 6th house it is a vibrita raj yoga 8th lord and the 6th with rahu so it destroys all enemies or no enemies that's how it makes it and jupiter yeah. mars ak amk in the 9th with the disposter in the 10th this is such a powerful yoga i can give you one of the more like a horoscope which clearly shows this person is spectacular in the rashi chart it, you cannot see it there's a nature planet in lagna lagna lord is in the 11th house yeah so somebody was telling me something um sir i read somewhere um and here i i don't know it's contradicting maybe so yeah. a vipreet raj yoga in a divisional chart um hmm. it's it's good for the material aspect like normally we see in d1 but it destroys the jiva of that uh... not in avamsa anywhere the what is say the viparita raja will destroy the jiva but sir jiva if in her case if we see her husband lived till 99 7000 is not uh, afflicted no 
sir in uh, d1 is. moon is uh, swashetri aspected by jupiter mars is okay, okay. Um, but moon here in navamsha goes to the 12th yes uh, but what K2. kind of marriage that means what kind of married life they lived okay so that, that how matters. do we differentiate uh, like if he has a long life or if it's a bad marriage or or no, like that, a distinct that, that, that is seventh house that is seventh house you will have to take the rules of uh, the seventh house here we are only looking at the uh, uh, yoga and the chart here yes you have uh, lagna lord in the seventh house shukra is well placed for her shukra is not mm. afflicted in avamsa the seventh bhava you have lagna lord sitting down is not afflicted the seventh lord moon is in the twelfth house with kedu but in the now the rasi chart moon is in the seventh house konos in navamsa so maybe internally they don't have a connection there's okay. a distance So the but, health but, doesn't what, suffer for him. Ah, that's all. Uh, they both there. Maybe they 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 lack. She's a queen, so you must understand. He he must be just existing for the namesake. But what? How was the uh, relationship? Feelings with them matters are different. Like no, he is okay. there. He exists. There was no divorce. Nothing. But he, uh, the the married life just existed. But how how happy were they? That's a different thing. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, we saw two uh, uh, good shots. Let's see. to uh, uh, negative charts okay or uh, okay this is a particular uh, uh, very known person just look at the rashi chart and tell me how good is the chart no look at um, the i'm saying yeah sir lagna lord this... is in the fourth uh, with three benefics yeah. there uh, it is not combust none of them are combust okay uh, okay but Lag lagna lord me... seems strong Lagna Lord is strong. You have uh, four planets in the fourth house. All aspects in the tenth house. You have the Yoga Karaga Mars exalted. You have Saturn exalted. So, what do you tell from this Rashi chart? What do you think is the person? What will he do? What is his profession? How well, successful will he be in life? He is living. No problem. Mm, the Mars so, just looks strong also. Mm. Uh, and so, Saturn uh, uh, being a, a negative Lord is not aspecting many planets also, okay. except mm. Moon. Okay, okay. I, so it it looks like a very good horoscope, no? With moon in Swachhetra, yeah. with two exaltations and uh, four planets in Kendra, it must be a very good horoscope. So this person is not finished sc schooling, is mildly autistic. Okay, no marriage, no children. Okay, yeah. he is just living with his mother. That's all. And this is as much as the success of his horoscope. How how do you deal with this? Uh, are the planets in, in any kind of Gandhmul? Uh, no, nothing, 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 nothing. Rasi chart, nothing. I can tell you some combinations in the Rasi chart for it, but simply don't need to worry. Just move to Navamsa and see the planets. No. Yeah, all in six eight twelve. No, that's all. So what happened to the Rasi chart? You have Venus, Mercury, and Jupiter in the twelfth, um, Mars and Rahu in the sixth, and you are fifth house afflicted with Sun and Saturn. You can see, no, no, mm. no marriage, no, uh, uh, no profession. Hardly the uh, 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 the complete is twelfth also. He just sits in uh, a very quite spiritual person, but just keeps on sitting and doing nothing. This is the chart of the person. If if you do not see it, in the, if you that's I'm saying how important is the Navamsa chart. If you do not Couple it with the Navamsa chart. The Rasi chart can be totally misleading. Actually, first time when I saw I saw this chart, I thought this is a Raja Yoga chart. When I I went uh, uh, this I saw this chart when it was born. I was telling this mother, "Oh, this is a fantastic horoscope. This is a Raja Yoga horoscope." I was uh, it was in the eighties. He was born in eighty two. So I was telling I was just a beginner that time. But later when I come come to know, then I understood from the chart how important is the Navamsa. Without understanding the Navamsa chart, if you look at the thing, it can be extremely very misleading. So it's so important. Sir, can you tell tell from the D one also if he can be autistic? No, right? Yeah. See, a fifth house K to Saturn aspect. Okay. Yeah. M but then Lagna is, is not that weak. Is, yeah, but that's why he is, he is mildly. He, Okay, it mine. is not fully okay. okay. Moon in the twelfth house, aspected by Mars and Saturn, for uh, you know the rules for uh, for mind related fifth house and Moon uh, uh, must know if Lagna is also afflicted, then it's it mentally challenged. He is not mentally challenged. He's a very normal person. I can't even tell you he is art. Uh, he's not artistic. Also, in the sense he is not inclined for anything else. He is not interested in anything else. That's all. He is not is a sort of artistic also. 
Okay, he's not lacking in, in anything. He's not interested in any other aspect of life. That's all. He talk about God. That's all. The, the he's not extremely very intelligent, but he's not stupid. He, uh, normal common sense, all that he can uh, he can have, but uh, like very much like a child. So this is a very important chart. How much you need to understand. So first, the two horoscopes about the yoga aspects. And this is about, if you do not understand the Navamsa, you will mislead, misread the Rasi chart about that. With the moment you say Lagna, Lord, Sun, with three benefits, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, is a Raj Yoga, right? Lagna, Kendra, and, Ch and from Chandra Kona, you have four planets. What will you understand? Yes, they are in Pabaka 3. Okay, the fifth, is, that's all there. But it is more easy in Navamsa, no? So it's very how important Navamsa chat. If you do not know how to understand Navamsa chat, if you do not miss the Navamsa chat, just reading from the Rasi chat can be extremely dangerous. You will give absolutely a wrong prediction. I did it. Uh, this that's in 1982. I use I I, I use uh, what I was a beginner that time. It's about uh, 40 years back, huh? 41 years back. I was just finished my college. I was just I, I I knew these rules. I was just trying, experimenting. But anybody will make a mistake when you see a chart. No, when you see a four planets in Kendras, I thought it's a great chart with mass uh, yoga karaga, mass exalted, Saturn exalted. From Chandra Lagna, if I see the chart is good. But then I, I never knew the importance of Navamsa. But then after seeing how his life moves, then okay, evolved. Uh, I understood how important is a Navamsa chart. Yeah, we'll go into one. Sir, more. Um, yeah. even Venus here is exalted, doesn't? Yeah, where is uh, Venus exalted? In the he, eight, yeah, but... he, yes, yes, he has all the comforts. There's no problem. He has all the comforts. Uh, uh, his his mother is not bad, quite rich enough. So that way is no problem. But marriage didn't happen. Marriage didn't happen. Yes. Seventh Lord is exalted, also, sir. Oh uh, yeah, seventh Lord is exalted, but the seventh from the moon has mass. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hmm? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is another very interesting horoscope. Uh, the mother knows uh, astrology very nicely. She brought a daughter's horoscope. She used to go discuss to a very big astrologer who used to charge two and a half lakhs. Uh, for a reading that uh, what do you say uh, he was no more so she was consulting from his uh, uh, his son so every astrologer uh, looks at the horoscope and says this is a very very bad horoscope for marriage yeah we look at the horror d1 chart just look at the horoscope uh, seventh lord in, uh, in scorpio sun with rahu and eighth lord mercury shukra is in the 12th house mass for a she's a female chart it is nature so you will say it's a bad married life. But I looked at the horoscope. I said, no, don't worry. This chart is good. She will have a good married life. Okay, can you tell me why? She's married. She's got a kid. She's having a good married life. She's settled in the US. Why did I differ from other astrologers? While it's very obvious, anybody, you look at the chart, it looks bad. Uh, the seventh lord, you see this from the moon, you can see Mer Mer Mercury, Sun, Rahu in the eighth is bad. Jupiter is in the eighth house, which is bad. Karaga for, for, for a female, you know how to judge marriage life. It is Mars and Shukra. Both are weakly placed. And one more thing, she's a very rich girl. I think uh, mother, uh, both father and mother said each will have 20, 20 houses. Denying so, Lagna Lord and Seventh Lord respecting each other. Yeah. And Shukra is not like... afflicted. See, Shukra, which is there, badly placed, it is well. Seventh Lord, which is badly placed in, it is well. Placed. See, just see the Navamsa chart. The whole picture changes. Jupiter in the second, Shukra in the tenth. The D1 Seventh Lord is in the ninth. The D1 a uh, so, uh, uh, D1, so 7th Lord and Lagna Lord in a mutual aspect. There's no affliction. The only thing, uh, you know, when she got married, she was during the Corona period. They fixed the marriage and the Corona came. But it was in the five-star hotel. So it's a limited number of people had come. 
<laughs> my mother was scared till that marriage day she looks come and ask me all the astrologers predicted a very bad married life for her Uh, will it survive? Survive even after the marriage, he had some small problems. Immediately, she was extremely worried. I said, "No, don't worry. Everything will be fine." Sir, so how will the Sun Rahu Mercury combination manifest? See, see, the, what are the combinations? Saturn is the ninth and tenth lord. Mercury is the fifth lord. Sun is the fourth lord. A mutual uh, a combination. See, first you understand she very rich female. Okay. Okay. Uh, does it show in the Rashi chart? uh jupiter All... is expecting second house okay so a lot of finance will come okay that is not the only point no lagna lord is the venus sir uh okay so uh, comfort will come which will not be hers yeah. if you see the rashi charts will come which will not belong to like you are you are a maid uh, in a rich man's house no enjoying the comforts that's what means when lagna lord and shukra are in the 12th house it's not yours ha ah, okay i thought you can have it from outside or you will enjoy it you will enjoy it okay. but it may not be yours if if the combination is in a kendra it is yours if it is if the same combination is in a weak dustana it is you enjoy it but it is not yours okay see how no, important I mean, uh, seventh uh, lord of d1 is with yes. rahu and mercury let's mercury is still a benefic rahu yes so is it like he's from a different caste or no no it's not same caste only what happened yes good question yeah, she was fixed engaged to, to another person what is say they were a bit close and then what is say in the last minute uh, it was called off so like it on eight months uh, engagement it called off so that was what happened when seventh lord is there with rahu okay so it was sort of they were developing love and everything and some uh, what is it, a small discussion about where is going to be the marriage the marriage was called off the guy side wanted on one side this uh, i wanted different side and it was called off okay so so that uh, what, that aspect of rahu also did uh, happen yeah what i wanted to show you is how if navamsa is spectacular even the rashi chart shows a bit bad but the navamsa is extremely very very strong as far as married life is concerned don't jump to pray. Uh, i've seen horoscopes where two planets see 100% mean 90% you can be sure bad married life when you see two planets in the 7th house or two malefic planets in the 8th house shukra afflicted this is usually you will, you will see it 10 horoscopes six of them will be correct but where Uh, it may not be correct when the navamsa is completely neat clean strong i have seen horoscope saturn ketu saturn rahu mars saturn in the 7th house you will be so sure what is a uh, married life will be bad but i will see a horoscope happily married saturn mars saturn rahu saturn ketu in the 7th house the one why look at the navamsa navam see in, in that case navamsa has to be very very strong okay all the parameters must be strong only in that case because in the rashi chart two malefics can be very bad so you, you need to have a completely neat navamsa to compensate the severe affliction in the rashi chart it's not one or two affliction it must be if it is a very severe affliction navamsa chart must cleanly show a compensation it must be that only then if it's a mild affliction okay so uh, what do you say navamsa need not be that very strong so it's very very important to understand the, the navamsa chart is i'm just giving you a chart where a person is two charts are very very successful where the navamsa only showed the picture uh, the, the other two charts where the person was totally um, uh, not able to do anything in life the navamsa hold this is a person just opposite chart where uh, the rashi chart was not very very clear but if when you take the navamsa chart you can complete it. why is she a standard of living she is in the us what is she living a uh, married life she is a uh, married life is very uh, doing very very good so this is uh, just to uh, tell you how important is the uh, uh navamsa chart the lot more in navamsa we we are, we'll talk about we are, i'll be talking about detail about longevity i will be uh, talking about uh, uh, how uh, what is a balarishta father's death mother's death husband wife's death i'll tell you all the reasons how we can find it and not the rashi chart in the navamsa chart we'll be having a discussion about completely about 10 professions we'll be discussing how to identify professions in the navamsa chart uh, we'll be seeing some health issues or to say how health issues can be understood from the navamsa chart we'll be seeing yes yoga i told you all about yogas uh, how the yoga becomes extremely very very important 
uh, in the, in the chat and pro profession both this is very very important yoga will be the most important you want to see a person is a celebrity uh, chat if you do not see the namamsa chat you have all the yogas in the rasi chat uh, but you one will not be there i like i told you four exaltations you know this horoscope which i showed you was two exaltation one in sakshatra no what is it just almost mentally uh, what a person an unsuccessful person who didn't finish his 12th no marriage nothing so it is if you do not see the namamsa chat it will what is everything will go waste yes with it you, if you you can see the varga chat the dasamsa and other varga chat you will complete it but the horoscope d1 d9 is 75% of the reading only then you have to go to any other varga chat so it is like uh, these two are very 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 important you will have to uh, see to understand this concept of how to see the total concepts durita uh, amsa uh, how pushkaram sa will change the whole concept you will have to understand now many other things uh, uh, like what i say uh, it's not just just being like rasi chat i didn't show you uh, how to see except for one rule uh, the rasi tulya namamsa bhava suchaka there are very very important concepts you will have to how to analyze and see namamsa is very very important so this will be uh, what is say seeing will be going thorough in it once you see it see it, it's not just going to be namamsa you will will be going to all see dasamsa uh, i was only seeing profession health i was seeing only uh, health is year we will be seeing about every aspect of life so you all the concepts how to use will be seeing in this namamsa chat is going to be total every aspect of life from health to death to yogas to every other aspect we'll be seeing with one first class four hours more it will be only about all the concepts how to use the concepts second class is going to be about practical reading okay anybody has any other uh, suggestions or hints or some clarity you'll want to know maybe i can highlight on that it will be good so there was one question by one someone ki how do uh, we even take retrograde planets in in Will okay, you be touching we'll have, on that? Okay, we'll definitely do it. Yeah, though Retro we have done this in many classes before, yeah, yeah, but sure. she is a new person, so she was asking. So just yeah, uh, we'll do it definitely. Okay, the retrograde will take. What else? Will do? That was a question put up by someone, so I will just sure, sure, sure. Yeah, retrograde combustion. It's very, very important. Mm -hmm. uh, with important, uh, what is it? I need and what uh, to state it with the example each. some people say it is three times strong some people say it, it becomes very very weak sometimes yeah. it gets delayed each has which views but i'll have to explain it with a chart only yes. then it will change and especially in norms it, it can change because there is a wide well belief it gives the result of the previous house correct yeah, in norms what does it happen it's very very important yeah so do we take tatva vargotam also in the sense Uh, like a planet is in same tatva let's say mars is in aries and yes, stays yes, in yeah. aries or something oh yeah Does definitely that strengthen uh, the planet yeah, 100% definitely you know see you have bhavottama vargottama uttama means auspicious uh, mm. what is it so planet and bhavottama vargottama there is one more question you can ask niche vargottama is it strong or good i have a niche vargottama <laughs> what happens a planet is niche and both does it strengthen the horoscope or does it weaken the horoscope <laughs> or it's niche itself throughout <laughs> no it depends uh, say it depends on if it is niche in a kendra or if it is niche in a ordinary house it can matter a lot we i, I particularly I have some few charts celebrity charts where they have it i'll show you what happens when a niche vargotama what happens if i simply tell you this how no i should show it you with few charts yes a niche vargotama what does it mean and even sir pushkara navamsha they say for some planets they say uh, it strengthens the natural karakatva and for some some people say see, it pushkara see, pushkara navamsha is, uh, is the simple logic is all the push, 24 pushkara navamshas are happening in benefic houses yeah so it is a it, it is a shubha navamsha it's okay. just not uh, uh, what is it? it is a shubha navamsha all the planets in shubha navamsha that's the most important thing you can all you uh, what is it so it is one of the concepts very very important comes it is taken a shubha navamsha Mm. The most important horoscope, which, which uh, when I was saying is NTR's horoscope, you know, NT Ramarao, he was the CM, not the present NTR who won the what is it, Nata Nata song. He's also <laughs> yeah. called NTR. His mm. uh, grandfather, uh, I think, his grandfather. 
uh, what do you say? Uh, uh, when I was uh, when he was ruling out, we have the discussion in the astrological magazine about chat. And the most important thing in his horoscope was he has four Pushkar and Avamsas. He was considered as a god. Anybody goes to Andhra, they'll go to Tirupati, will also have a darshan of him. Because he acted as Krishna. Krishna and Vishnu. So everybody considers him as God. What I said. So he's considered as God. Yes, you, I have his horoscope. You, you must see the Navamsa. What's the Navamsa which makes him people worship him as God? Navamsa Lagna he spices with moon, Jupiter, with four Pushkaramsas. So you will understand. I have to tell you some horoscope. Not, not if I tell you it's good and bad. No, I have to explain to you with horoscope to tell you how important Pushkar Navamsa can be. And uh, I'll, okay, I'll tell you one more thing when you are discussing so much. <coughs> Jaimni, the astrology, there is a thing, illegitimate birth. Mm -hmm. According to Parasara, illegitimate birth is if Jupiter is not aspecting the moon, Lakna, Lakna, Lord, Isna, Dustana, in the Rasi chart, it is a legitimate bit. In Jaimni horoscope, Lakna afflicted. It's about the Lakna, Navams, everything for what is saying in Jaimni, it's about looks. It is, uh, it is uh, the, the Lakna's position is important for looks. But it is the birth legitimate, illegitimate? The surroundings of the birth. Where the person, how does a person look? Where, where, when you are born, who, what is there? Who was there with you? In what circumstances you are being born? What is it? Everything is in the Ramam sir. Chat. You can see a whole detail. You can see everything. Uh, it's only from the Ramam sir. It's not the Rasi chart. What planets are the Lagna or the second house does not matter how you look. It is the Ramam sir Lagna matters of how you look or uh, what is say Where are you born? Is father there with you? Mother there with you? Uh, are you uh, born in a cesarean or you know, what do you say uh, at birth? What is the, the balarista, the longevity? Everything it's so important. You miss Navamsa, everything will go. We'll be, we, we, I'll take examples of every concept what I told you uh, in detail in, in the horoscope. Illegitimate birth, yes, we will see. Then Navamsa, I'll show you uh, two example charts uh, father dying at birth, mother dying, short lived, mother uh, dying. What is it? Navamsa, you can see. Excellent, sir. Yeah. Ma'am, your audio is down. Eagerly waiting for this now, sir. Yeah, sure, ma'am. For guys who have not enrolled till now, tomorrow is the last day for the early bird. Please do avail this. And uh, sir, many of you come to me afterwards to change the this thing. Please don't do it because there is a full team working with me. I'm not alone in all this. Uh, so it is impossible to sometimes uh, heed to your request. We are very sorry for that. So, better to take the early birth when they are offered. And see you very soon in about two weeks, sir. Yes, ma'am. First and second. <laughs> yes. So, uh, uh, and uh, we hope you all gain a lot of knowledge and many, many secrets that sir always reveals in his classes. The PPT uh, notes and everything will be forwarded uh, after the classes. Uh, sir's notes are awesome, as Nile said. He puts in everything in the notes so that we can just revise them again. And again. Right? Any other questions you all have, you can just ask or we can. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes. yes sir. Yeah. Bhavani Shankar, I'm a new student. Tell me, sir. Yes, Bhavani Shankar is a new student. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Uh, I have heard that the moon and Jupiter in uh, seventh is uh, very bad. I don't know why. I don't understand. Yeah. No, no. The uh, it uh, what is say you know the story, no? Uh, moon Jupiter story. Yeah, yeah. No, it is very much read. I have seen it in, in practical things also. Uh, moon Jupiter by itself is not bad. It is a very good combination for material things. But when it comes to if somewhere if Moon and Jupiter are in the seventh. Uh, or moon in Jupiter's house in the seventh, uh, Jupiter and moon's house, uh, if it is somewhere in the seventh, or if one of them is the seventh lord, you will see uh, uh, illicit relationship. I'll tell you one from my memory. Tula Lagna. I have two horoscopes, I'll tell you. Jupiter, moon in the seventh house. First marriage broke, second, uh, and the person's only the second marriage survived. The seventh lord was not afflicted, it was in the ninth. Another horoscope, the, uh, the same Tula Lagna with moon, Jupiter in the seventh. The person f f first was a mentally retarded girl. What is it? He had to divorce after so many years. And then the second marriage, he married a married girl. I will tell you one more. I know a close person, which I know. That person is Mithuna Lagna, moon Jupiter in the 10th. Shukra in Lagna. Okay. So, so seventh Lord, Jupiter with the moon. 
okay, he uh, he went on to have a, a second relationship for more than 10 12 years so you all think jupiter is yes clean pure everything yes jupiter has all that but when it is related with the moon it's absolutely to a total uh, different thing it does not mean it spoils it's not bad for material it it gives all the comforts everything but it is you have to understand it slightly as far as the relationship concerned moon jupiter it moon jupiter alone it's not it's going not going to disturb relationship somewhere it must be connected you see mithun lagna jupiter is in the 10th house but it is the 7th lot so when moon jupiter joins together uh, analyze it very very carefully so i have a jupiter lot is... of horoscopes uh, yeah tell me so jupiter is retrograde uh, does that also impact in some yeah, yeah it will impact yes some it in uh, it depends see you will have to know moon jupiter and which house it matter. in saturn's house it lag differently directly it i've seen it working directly when it is in the 7th house i uh, okay i'll tell uh, what is i will tell you yeah, yeah, jayalalitha's horoscope jupiter is in the 7th house Okay, your uh, not jail. Um, uh, uh, her, her, what is uh, M. G. Ramachandran? No, the C. M. of Tamil Nadu. He has his Kanya Lagna with Moon Jupiter in the seventh house. His horoscope. His first marriage, wife died. Second marriage broke. His third marriage, he never got married with her. It, it was a living to relationship. He never because he never wanted to get married because first two marriages was broken. Kanya Lagna with Moon Jupiter in the seventh house. i can give you a host and host of horoscopes certain things is you will have you will just have to uh, take some practical horoscopes and understand okay those are very interesting thing which uh, i've seen it in many horoscopes okay thank you yeah thank you sir thank you yes, everybody yes. for being here today uh, yeah. things turn out to be better when you love you love with sir so yeah. the interaction you. is good yeah interaction and all our teachers want that interaction to be there so let's see okay sir thank you thank yes, you so much bye everybody we were those you, who are not we were those who have not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe for the latest updates and do join this navamansa course and wish to see you all there thank you bye thank you sir thank you madam yes bye everybody